Hey everyone, so today is finally graduation after four years at Brock. Um, this vlog will basically be that and a little bit of the behind the scenes of what you don't see. Um, if you're just going as like guest and yeah, I honestly, there's not much to say. I, I mean, at the end, when it's done, I'm sure I'll have feelings and thoughts to talk about. But right now, it's just getting ready and uh, going. So, see ya. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Brock University's 111th Convocation Ceremonies and our return to in-person convocation. We're so glad you're with us. Just a reminder to please turn off the volume on your cell phones for the duration of the ceremony and please continue to wear your masks. At this time, I ask that you remain seated as the graduates enter the gymnasium. Nicholas Anthony Tagnani. Brianne. You're in the video, Andrew. Huh, so graduation is finished. Uh, now I just returned my gown in order to get my degree, get it framed, and take a few more pictures. Since everyone's dying to see, this is what my degree looks like. It's still in like the plastic bag um, from the frame when I purchased it, but here we've got like the Brock logo. By the way, I had to pay extra for this frame. Um, don't ask how much it was because it was very expensive, but here it was. Um, yeah. I did find it a little petty though. <clears throat> the, you could. I, only either take a photo in like the gown or with your um, degree, not both. You had to like return the gown in order to get your degree back. I guess that was like their safety net to ensure that they got it back. But yeah, that was, it was felt like kind of a rip off to be honest. Okay, everyone, that is a wrap on graduation. Um, the rest of this video is just going to be me talking and being emotional and venting I guess um giving words of wisdom so if you don't want to hear that you can end the video now because there's no more like fun photos or anything behind the scenes like that but yeah I can't believe that's done <laughs> um you know there was an 85 year old woman who graduated from Brock the day before I did and it was her life goal, life dream to get a bachelor's degree. And it really made me realize and re really made me think about how privileged I am to get this degree. Because in some parts of the world, um, depending on your gender or race or anything like that, um, you, you can't get one. And so I feel really privileged to get to say I have a bachelor's degree and that I went to university and got to have all these amazing memories the past four years. Um, yeah, truly magical. Um, in case you didn't know, I did get a psychology degree. Um, 
with hopes to be something in the medical field in the near future. But yeah, it was such a surreal moment getting that get, that hood placed on you. Um, they have different colors for different faculty, so we were the faculty of social science. And um, yeah, I remember nothing about that part. I just remember getting on stage and getting off stage and like nothing in between. It was just such a blur. It happened so fast. <laughs> I It's like you work so hard for this moment and it's just like done. Um, I'll even put a link in the description if you want to watch the entire live stream um, where everyone's in there, as Andrew would say, like traditional Harry Potter uniforms. Um, because during my graduation, we got to see people get their doctorates, masters, and bachelors, and an honorary doctorate. So I'll have that link down below. If you want to know more about student life at Brock, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and I can talk about that. I guess I guess that's really it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, you know, tell me in the comments what you want to see next. Or what you don't want to see. <laughs> if you don't like these little t uh, chats. I see, see now it's just going all over the place and I'm going to be too lazy to edit it in like different areas so you're stuck with this random um, slur of words but I will say university taught me so much more than book smarts taught me critical thinking how to live alone be independent book my own appointments whether that be like academic advising or like doctor's appointments um, you know taught me to be independent going on adventures as you see on this channel all the time don't let anyone tell you that there's nothing to do in St. Catharines I literally have 10 videos on this channel telling you <laughs> every single thing you can do there's I'm sure plenty more that I missed because I only got into this in my third year uh, but yeah I think that's all I want to say you have yourself a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next vlog bye